I've said, they're volatile. There can be fluctuations of them, but I believe that over the long range, they're coming down. You still think they'll come down this summer, sir? What? You still think they'll come down before the summer's over? I'm going to stick with that prediction. Some people are worried. Let's still turn this into a press conference, Chris. asking questions again. Do you think the uh, photo opportunity right. rules are still the same here as they are in that other Rose Garden? Your friend Tim O'Neill is trying Sam to get uh, Gary Hart to drop out today, and so Mondale's the nominee. Do you think Hart should drop out, sir? I wouldn't help either one of them with that decision. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you drink your wine last night? Ah, that's enough, huh? ideas do you have for oil sharing if there's an oil interruption, sir, that you'll be talking about? Those are all things that we're going to share here. We recognize that we can act better together if faced with such a crisis. Does that mean we, we would share our oil supply, sir? I think we would all probably mutually share. The other nations have reserves also. Thank you, Mr. President. Mm -hmm. Chancellor is complaining about high U.S. interest rates. What will you tell him, sir? So far, he's just said that he's glad to see me. <laughs> but not your interest rate. Will you discuss interest rates at all, Mr. President? Mr. President. Will you discuss interest rates? I don't know. Uh, we'll find out what we yes, decide to talk so. about. Mr. President, does this have... ...terrorism, Mr. President? Are you opposing it? Of what? A station on terrorism. No, I think it's a subject that we have to discuss yet. We haven't discussed it in the meeting. Will you mention the Libyans when it comes to terrorism, or will it just be general? That's going will to you name on the names? Discussion. Mm -hmm. uh, Chancellor, what do you think about high U.S. interest rates, sir? Wir bereden heute Abend darüber. Thank you, Mr. President. Wish I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> President, some people interpreted your criticism of the Soviets yesterday at Ponte Hoc as, as taking away from your call for reconciliation with the Soviets. Which did you mean most, sir? Well, I followed it up with the reconciliation. And uh, I think I was just being realistic as to the fact that uh, their military had remained. So, uh, you know. We're sitting facing an empty chair and waiting for them to sit down in. For true reconciliation, sir, must they quit Eastern Europe? Must they take their troops out? Uh, that would be one of the things that would just probably automatically follow this sort of reconciliation. Mr. President, there are indications that some of our allies are more interested in oil conservation than dipping into oil reserves. Would a move like that threaten the world economic recovery? Well, this is a subject we have to talk about, all of us, yes, we haven't talked about it. Now, you take the rest of the day off. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> take the rest of the day off. Take the rest of the day off. I like it. 